Hey, come on in. So you're looking to get your face painted? Good, well, you've come to the right place. So come on in, have a seat. Do you have any idea of something you would like to have painted on your face? Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Just a lot of multicolored polka dots, huh? That is really neat. Kind of unusual. I think it'll definitely stand out in the crowd. Okay? Well, you're in luck because we have all different types of colors to choose from. So, let me get you a sampling of what we have. Okay? We are going to start out with a set of basic colors that we have. Here we have blue, brown, green, red, white, and pink. So those are pretty basic. Here we have another set of colors, orange and purple. We have a darker brown. We have a slightly lighter blue, bright yellow, and a light green. And then we have a darker red, black, another orange, a little bit darker, a lighter purple color, another type of tan or brown, and this is kind of a skin color, which I don't know if we're using this on your skin, but um, it's pretty light. But your skin color is kind of in between these two, so I don't think we'll be using either of these because it'll be way too close. So, well, I think polka dots are pretty easy to do, so let's get started. Do you want, like, really small polka dots, or do you want medium size, or do you want really large polka dots? Okay, so just medium size. And I think what we'll do is we're going to put some just kind of all around your face, here on your cheeks and down your chin and your nose and up on your eyebrows and forehead. Okay, all over the place. Perfect. Good. Well, this should be fun. So let's start out. I'm going to put a nice bright color down first. How about how about this red right here? Does that sound good? Okay, good. Let me get my handy dandy paintbrush here. And we'll open this up. There we go. some there on our paintbrush and I'm going to put some here like that there we go and I'm going to put another one up here Let's see. Why don't I put another one right here? Good. Okay. Well, we're going to put a lot of different colors, so we only need a few of each one. have some water here to wash my brush out with.
I'll keep that right there. Okay, so next, let's do this yellow right here. I think that will be another nice bright color we can put on here for you. Now I'm going to put that first one right here. come down here and put one. Okay. And I'm going to put one right up here on your forehead. Yeah, just like that. think three each will be fine for the colors. So now let's do a blue. And I think this is the brightest blue of the bunch. So let's do that one. Yeah, these are nice thick paints. They're going to do really well. Okay, I'm going to do one over here. Good. And I'm going to do one down here. I'm trying to keep them all kind of the same size. And then I'll do one right up here. I think I'll do one more down here because we need to balance out all this red and yellow. I'll put one right beside the red one. There. I think it's coming along very well. Wash off my brush again. it really well. We don't want the paint to be running down your face. Okay, so why don't we do this green? All of these colors seem to be, oops. For the next cover, let's do this green. That'll be a nice color to broaden out our spectrum a little bit. I'm going to put one right up here. And let's put one right here. Get a little bit more paint there. There we go. Okay. Where else should we put one? Let's do one right down there. Okay. Make sure these are good. Solid coverage. Good. Okay. Well, I think that is definitely going to be a unique face painting. But 
So I'm going to move this one head down this week. Here is, let's see, which orange do you think is better? This one? Okay. I think we can do that. There we go. And we'll do this purple next. I think that will be wonderful since purple and orange complement each other. We'll put one right there. And we'll put another one right here. Let's get a little bit more paint there so you can tell that that's been painted. That would be important. And we're going to put another one right here. Good. Why don't we do one more? Of fill in that space between that blue and that yellow for some orange. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. Let me wash this out one more time. Back to my trusty paper towel. And let's do this purple. Nice and bright. Let's put that right here. A little bit more there. And then let's put one right here. One right here. I think it's looking pretty good. And we'll do another one. Let's see. Right over here. Good. You can feel it drying on your face a little bit. Yeah. It'll feel kind of strange once it dries, but the paint is pretty, pretty stable. So it'll be a while before it starts to actually kind of crack. That won't be till later on tonight when you're done with the festivities today. Okay, so now I've kind of gotten a lot of the basic colors down. What else do you think we should use? We have some of these. You want to do some black? Okay. That might provide some nice contrast. And then we'll do some white too. I think that'll work out just fine. Let's put some black right up there. We'll use a lot of 
okay because it's very easy to tell if you don't need enough black because the skin color shows through in higher contrast. Okay. And we'll put another one right over here. Put in a little more. And put that right down here. Get some more there. Good. Okay. Close that up. I think it's coming along pretty well. And now we'll do some white. That'll be perfect. Okay. Let's do white right here. Okay. Let's make that a little bigger. Let's do some white right here. And then we'll do some right down here. And one more. We'll do one up here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to put it right here on this side. Like that. Wash this out. And let's see, we have a brown, and we also have a green here, that's a little bit darker than the other thing. Want to do the green? Okay. We'll put this green here. And we'll put it here. Put one over here. And then we're going to put one right here. And already rotate that. Okay, well, I think that just about does it. You've done most of your face. So now your face is covered with polka dots. What do you think? Oh, really? Okay. Well, wasn't quite what you expected. Okay. No, no, that's fine. 
It is an unusual design. But you do kind of get lost in all those polka dots. And, oh. Yeah, you, you may scare some kids. <laughs> you certainly wouldn't want to scare them. Well, what I can do is I can take this off for you. That's not a problem. Um, it's not completely dry yet. So all I have to do is use my nice big brush here. And I'll use this water. And I'll just clean clean it off your face. Okay? Yeah, won't take long at all. So just make sure I get plenty of water here. I'm just going to start slow. Work our way down from the top. Clean it up as we go. If you use plenty of water, it'll come right off. Well, maybe next time of polka dots. Maybe we could try stripes or something. That might work. Okay. Almost done. Let's do another quick rinse here. Does your skin feel okay? I didn't want to scrub it or anything like that. Because that would just make it more irritated. <laughs> yeah, I could see how having a nice brushing on your face would be kind of relaxing. Well, don't fall asleep on me. <laughs> okay. Just kind of pat your face dry now. It's all clean. Okay. Yeah. Just pat the water off of it. I'm sorry that the polka dots did not work out, but it was a valiant experiment nonetheless. Um, let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to paint. No? Okay. You gotta go? Okay. Well, please come back if you have more time, and I will paint whatever you would like. We can do the stripes thing, or I can paint butterflies, tigers, dinosaurs, balloons. Anything. Okay. Well, thanks. And I will see you later. Okay.